Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And today's video is an update to the Integra GSR setup. So I don't know if I'm going to call this a deep dive video. I might. Eh, we'll see what the title says. But this is an update to the Integra GSR because there's been a bunch of updates to how we race this thing. And maybe just a bunch of cars in the game in general. So I wanted to do an update video so everybody's on an even playing field. We're going to be doing an Integra GSR tournament actually uh october 6th so i don't know if this video will go public before then it might if it does everybody's on an even playing field if it doesn't then it doesn't but this was kind of a community effort going through the car figuring it out doing everything we can do with it and it's a ton of fun to race this thing so i'm gonna go back to speed lab and i'm gonna show you guys the updates to the setup because you know that's important. Oh, you know what? Someone's racing me. Ah, oh, Bevins. All right, we'll start the video off with a race. Why not? This is going to be fun. So, at least for me, this doesn't work for everybody. For me, I actually rev launch this car. I know we've been ranting and raving lately that, like, oh, no rev is the new way to race, and it's the fastest way to race, and this, that, and the other. I don't think that any longer the way to race at least with hondas uh or a lot of the front wheel drive cars that we're doing the like kind of transmission thing where we don't change it out for an adjustable transmission we just go for a lightweight one you're better off uh rev launching it gets rid of that little bit of lag that's at the bottom of the uh rev range so we're going to sit here right at about 72 percent we're going to launch and you can see I kind of over rev first. We bounce, you know, a little bit off the rev limiter there. You know, you can just watch that over and over. Whatever. Oh, I lost. I mean, I kind of figured. I think I launched really late because I'm talking at the same time as this. Yeah, and that was a really slow time for me. I probably have engine damage. But anyway, let's go back to Speed Lab now, and I'll show you guys the new setup. By the way, just a little heads up, fix your car's condition. That's why I lost that race. So I'm going to go fix this. I'm going to fix this, and then we're going to hit Speed Lab. So everyone kind of has a different setup for this car. I'm running 670, 468, 25, uh, 14 for HP, torque, and weight. I think there's a 671 setup that some people are running with uh, 469 torque. But I don't think that 1 HP really makes a difference. So anyway, let's go through performance parts and I'll show you what's changed. Because, boy, a lot has changed. Um, <laughs> and it took a lot of trial and error. So you might be wondering, your old setup is like 2,500 pounds. How is it, you know, 15 pounds more but so much faster? It's because of the torque. So here we have the CKR Tech crankshaft. Biggest change is the Brocker Tech heads. Um, we have the race parts valves, the Golden Hawk block, the Performance Plus rods, and the Powerdyne pistons. Intake system, I think, is the same at the Works throttle body, end filter intake, and Type R manifold. Fuel system is the same. It's the 1000cc injectors. Turbo is the same. No intercooler, no BOV. Cooling, I believe, is the same with the OEM oil cooler. And I'm actually running the OEM uh, radiator as well now. I do not have uh, the Fluid Pro radiator. The exhaust, I'm running Prime Mods Catback. The Top Performance Exhaust Manifold. And the Flowtech Catalytic Converter. For electronics, it's the Fuel Pro ECU. And the MSD Performance Ignition. I think in the past I was trying to run this one, but it just doesn't work for this setup, so we're not going to run it. Nitrous, always your 100 shot with the suspension, the Shock Pro suspension. Drivetrain stuff is Clutch Pro Race Clutch, Clutch Pro Flywheel, Axle Pro Drive Shaft, the Meekin Spool Differential, and the Proline Transmission because this removes the most weight. Body. Just fully gutted. And then tires, you do have to do the weird little tire thing where you do the Hoosiers first, make them all gigantic, come back in here, put the radials on, um, and you're good to go. 
So for tuning, obviously we can't edit gear ratios because, well, yeah, uh, you can do final drive. My final drive I'm running is 3.42. That's what I've been running. I've tested everything from 3.0 all the way up to 3.69 because I like having funny numbers in my ratios. 3.42 is what I settled on. And while I think I could potentially get a little faster if I tried to figure out a better final drive, 42 is the meaning of life if you ever watched it. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You'll always notice that there are little references in my gear ratios somewhere to either Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Funny Number, or 1337 is somewhere. So anyway, stance-wise, like I said, you need to do the tire thing where you put the Hoosiers on first, make these all gigantic on front and rear, put the radials on, come back in, and slam it to the ground. And that's pretty much your setup. Now, you can't really test drive it here because you're never going to hit that 9.779 if you're going for leaderboard times. You want to go to 6th Street Bridge because of that little hump downhill thing at the end of the track. So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to pause and just put some visual body parts on this thing because I want to make it look good for the tournament. And I'll go do a couple more races with it. Alright, let's get this race started here. So up my car to make it look good because I'm going to be using this one in the tournament but like I said we're going to I'm going to try to do a couple races just to show you guys how I race this thing and then that'll pretty much be it for a video so like I said I rev about 72 percent almost every shift first shift I like to try to over rev it to as close to 9,000 as possible then every shift after that is like 8,700 to 8,900 and I don't use nitrous until I'm in fourth gear just because, well, that seems to be the best time to use it. I don't know what you want me to say. Wow, that was a good race for me. So you're going to kind of bounce between two uh, ETs, you know, while we're at this current stage of alpha testing. You're going to bounce kind of between 9.779 and 9.799 is kind of what you're going to bounce between. Man. I need to be able to do that kind of RT more often with more cars. Let's do a couple more races just so I can kind of show it off, show you guys what we got here. And overall, just have some fun with it. Let me do a couple more here. I'll pause in between because of the loading screens. All right, let's do another one here. And just hope for a really good outcome. But again, we're going to rev about 72%. And that's going to be right about where I launch. I like to click it as soon as possible and just let the game kind of figure it out for where it's going to rev up to is kind of what I like to do. Because it seems the most, uh, the most accurate way to do it. I might have fouled there. I don't know if I did. I didn't. Cool. Since I don't have game sound on, I never know if I'm going to foul or not. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so there we go. Another 9.799, which seems to be about where I'm going to sit for this moment, which is fine. But I hope you guys are ready for the tournament. If you don't participate in the tournament, I hope you at least build one of these and have some fun with it. I'm going to do one more race for you, and then we'll call it quits for the video update. Actually, I think I'll turn sound on for this one so you guys can hear it, because I realized I'm not recording sound here. There we go. Another 9799. Like I said, mess with it a little bit. You'll get to the 9779s, no problem. I've had quite a few of them. Um, it's a very, very tight window for getting that 9779. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Enjoy the Integra GSR.